Hello and welcome fellow Spartans to part number 13 of the Western Roman Empire campaign on Total War Attila. So let's carry on and hopefully today let's make sure this is not an unlucky 13th episode for this campaign. We are finally back with it and let's start to try and make and start a U-turn with the problems that we are facing with the Western Roman Empire because I think two main issues are starting to raise, sort of rise up here. We've got the food problem and we've also got the disease and sanitation issues. So let's hopefully try and start to, as I say, deal with them today a little bit more. Um, obviously, the sanitation needs to be brought up. Get rid of the disease, get rid of that out of our provinces. And then at the same time, that will hopefully bring the public order up as well. Um, and I'm starting to do that with construction of waterworks and fountains across my lands. And hopefully that, as I say, at the same time, will start to get rid of those diseases by doing so. Um, and of course, the... the the food needs to be managed more because, again, we're starting to suffer from attrition again in our um, armies, which is a bad thing. We don't lose any more men to attrition. So hopefully that will, at the same time, improve with the changes in the seasons. But at the same time, we need to make sure we can improve it with the buildings of more fields in the fertile lands in Europe. We have, though, a bit of good news, got rid of the Civil War. The Civil War has been... Destroyed in Carthago, eradicated, and that at the same time has made it that our generals are now more loyal towards the Emperor. So hopefully he is now safe in his position. Um, he's brought his personal influence up with his victories in Northern Europe. So that has helped obviously as well. We've got rid of that civil war, so let's hopefully make sure that we don't have any more of those sort of problems in the near future. Because we don't want civil wars to be breaking out left, right and centre and the Emperor's life to be at risk. So let's pray that that is going to be something we don't have to worry about going forward. Obviously civil wars, sorry not civil wars, rebellions are starting to break out in a few of our regions because of the public order issues. That's starting to get to a boiling point in a lot of the lands. But again, let's try and deal with them. We've got with us a few of them in Iberia now. Um, let's keep on top of them and uh, hopefully they will then start to calm down eventually. I mean religion, if I'm correct, is starting to go to Latin Christianity, which is what we are, of course. So it's going in the right direction. Let's hopefully make sure that carries on because um, that will then bring everything to sort of a, a calm state, hopefully, very soon as well. But there we go. That's where we are at. Um, what I need to do straight away is bring this army from Hydromentium into the sea here. And then bring them at to into I should say Sabrata, because they next turn will get into there. Yeah, they they next turn will sally out to deal with this rebellion here, and hopefully get rid of them very quickly. So that's their job. Bring these guys back to Carthago. There's going to be a rebellion there. Unfortunately, so we can't do anything about that. And yeah, as I say, nothing else I can really do this turn. So let's end it. Oh, we've got unassigned skill. Always to our governor in Roma. So yes, a nice safe haven in our empire at the moment. But we still need to make sure our governor is on top form. So we'll increase his authority. Um, so, oh, right, okay. That'll give him plus two. That'll give him an extra three. Okay, we'll go for that then. Even though we're not under any risk, I don't think, of being attacked in this area at the moment. We still need to make public order solid. It is great at the moment anyway, but we need to keep it on top of that because sanitation is bad. So we do need to probably develop this land soon to get some some fountains and waterworks here. Minus five at the moment. So if we can start to do that, get clean sanitation buildings across all our lands, that will be a, a big uh, step in the right direction. But yeah, we must carry on. So let's end the turn, see what happens. Now, of course, if you haven't already had a chance, I put up a video a few days ago to go and vote for the campaign you want to have returned to my channel. There's a few to choose from. Of course, the usual is Rata Sparta, Tales of Alexander, etc., etc. So go and check out that video if you haven't already. Go and vote for it. The voting closes tonight on Sunday. Um, so yeah, you need to go and cast your vote if you haven't already because it is closing soon. And then hopefully, once you've done that vote, uh, well, definitely hopefully, it's, a, it's an absolute guarantee thing, not hopefully, next week the campaign will return. So uh, go and cash your vote, as I say, if you haven't already. 
And uh, yes, I shall be returning with one of those campaigns next week. So let's see what we get now. I always dread these end turn phases, as you know. It's not ideal. Assassin is still sweeping through the Eastern Roman Empire. Oh, Western Roman Separatists. Oh, okay. Ooh. I think we'll have to fight this one because even if we can auto resolve it, which we could, if we did auto resolve it, we couldn't guarantee destroying the whole of the force. Whereas if we managed it, we may be able to do so. So let's do the actual battle ourselves. And let's hope to God we can win this one. I keep saying that. I keep praying to the gods on this campaign because it seems to be that it's required most of the time at the moment. The Battle of Palma 398 AD. We have got a garrison fleet that can support this battle. We'll do the usual. Set strong in the centre of the... Uh, set up strong in the centre of the town. Use our cavalry to flank. And then... Uh, God, that general though. Look at these. A rank 3 experienced general. This is going to be tough. This is going to be very tough. But hopefully we can... Uh, we can come through. Shame none of them attacking by sea, because then obviously we could use our marines to greater effect. But we'll have to uh, deal with them on land and bring our marines to the shoreline. Okay, what fleet have we got actually? We've got three units actually. We've got um, light marines, light marines and light skirmish or women skirmishers. Fair enough. Where are they actually? They're over here. Okay, let's bring them into port. Hope they can dock here. And we're pretty naughty if they can't. So we've got barricades. They're all attacking from that same area, that northern area. So there's two real sort of threats they're going to probably attack us from here and here. They're not going to go all the way around here. So. Unfortunately, we haven't got any skirmishes though. That's the problem. I'll sort of put them under a barricade there. Okay, we'll put the barricade here. To follow them all this way. To only come this way then, really. So, we'll put... The cohorts into... Defensive Testudo there. Defensive testudo. Put the spears behind. They haven't got any skirmish... Oh, they've got one unit of skirmishers, so I'll use my cavalry against them. Put them out on his right flank there. His expolateres shall go here with the idea to flank around up that avenue there. Hopefully, that should be okay. And of course, we'll get the marines to dock off. In fact, we'll put these marines here so they're more in the position to just go straight off the beach there, up to that bit. Okay, let's start it. Okay, get off, off, off the boats, men, off the boats. Don't know why you're turning around, guys. Just go straight to the beach. That's all you need to do because you're killing precious time now. You really are. Come on, chaps. Oh my god, what are you doing? What is the price? Jesus Christ, what are you doing? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hello. Looks like the cavern moving across. Let's pull these guys back. Indeed, we shall bring them back. Oh, we have got skirmishers there, of course, I remember them, but obviously they won't be able to get to the uh, to this bit. If I'd put a barricade there, you wouldn't be able to get there quickly, so put them up there. Move, move, move. Don't go this way, go that way, please. Thanks very much. Light marines are off. Here comes the other unit. Come back over here now. Cav, I think you can rest assured you're not going to be attacked yet, so pull them back out. So it's more wise to fight this one, I think, because especially if these are separatists, we want to be making sure we do eradicate them and they don't get away to fight another day. That's the last thing we want. 
So we bring the export artillery some light marines around here. Cavalry can just sit tight there for a second. They are starting to come up this way, which we thought they would do, which is good. As long as they don't go down that way. The barricade hopefully should repel them from doing so. And of course, we've got the town folk. They will do their job, I'm sure. You must believe in the people of the town. You've got to believe they're defending for everything they've got. Their lives at stake, their hearts of iron will hold. Okay, so they've engaged. They've engaged. Now we have got an issue already. Let's go into a defensive test studio because these are starting to fire across. So to make sure we are covered there. Um, right, chaps, let's move in. Let's get the infantry in. Cavalry go across there. Skirmishers, are you in position yet? No. God, you're walking? Get a move on! Dear God, it's not a Sunday afternoon stroll. General's coming down this way. Interesting. Palatina Guards. Nothing remains of that tower now. They're throwing everything they've got in here. I'm going to have to bring the spears in. Oh, I can't put him into the defensive test unit now, unfortunately. Too late. Never mind. Hope these skirmishers can fire. No, they're not in position, are they there? Let's move them across here. Trying to get them to aim for those those pikes, actually. Move across quickly, quickly. Move these guys in now to flank and sandwich them in the back there. Move, move, move. Get over there quickly as possible. Fire down on those Germanic pikes. That's it. Wonderful stuff. They're going down quite quickly, actually. Okay. Chaps, move in. Wow, she's brilliant. The wavering has started to kick in already. Awesome stuff. We need to scout Equites across now. Get the marines into those pipes, sorry, those, those um, spear units. Skirmish is still driving them away. They've taken a lot of them down, actually. Over half of their men have gone. We only had 80, le 80 to start with already, but we're going to scout here. Quetez across now to deal with the Sagittaria. Sagittaria? What are we talking about? Sagittaria? Take them down before these guys get in to hit attackers. That's it. Move, move, move. You completely ex isolated them now which is good these guys are not standing up for long if I'm got anything to do about it so drive those skirmishes away now but you've run out of ammunition already yeah that wasn't much was it ok they're going down pretty easily ok great stuff here we well I'm really uh Impressed, I should say, with the Marines. They're doing their job very well. They're doing their job better. They're sorry again. They're doing their job better than the actual Explorates are actually. Superb job, chaps. Superb job. So the Palatina Guards are coming this way. So once these guys are finished with these, okay, go. Go for that general unit right away. Bring the spears across now, get the cohorts out, because the Explorates are starting to take casualties. Good. So we've got rid of everyone bar the general, I think, really. So here we go, here we go, here we go. If not really prepared themselves for the charge. Yeah, they're going down a little bit. Not loads, but they've gone down a little bit. When these guys are on the back, and obviously I know they're only light marines or light skirmishers, but uh, 
Nevertheless, we can start to pin him down from the back as well. We only lost one man. We don't want to really pull him out. If we pull him out, then we'll start to lose a number of them. We want to keep him engaged in the combat at the moment. Push these skirmishes away. Let's bring a few of them back, actually, to start to uh, support the cab here. Okay, come on. But the skirmisher cab doesn't help. We want to surround the general. If you surround him, take him down, that surely would make this army just break up and not come back to fight on. Right, the cavalry's now been completely destroyed. Oh, right, okay, hang on. Right, the general has actually completely quit, but we should not quit yet. We've got to take him down. We have got to make sure he goes. Don't let him escape. Don't let this this turncoat escape. I want to see him dead. Here comes the other units of support. Okay. Not long now. Come on, finish these guys off. Seven men, six. Oh my god, they've completely gone over there. They sneaked off without telling me. Let's get the cavalry over then to finish them off. Before they get away. Charge, come on. All this strolling about today is not on. Right, they've gone. End the battle there. Decisive victory. Lovely. We only lost one, we lost one two, six. Not, not brilliant, but not terrible. Our explorators didn't do very good. They lost quite a considerable number of men to the enemy. Oh, don't tell me they've got away. Kill them off. Oh, no. They've actually been able to push back. Well, we'll try and raise a general there if we can or something to finish him off. So, rebellion in Africa. Civil war in Palma. That's where that was then. Not great. Where's that then? God, I didn't think we have another civil war. Attrition, attrition, attrition. So, attrition still an issue. Food has got to be sorted out now. Disease spreads. Oh, my God. Terms of office. So, we completed their terms of office. Famine. Rebellion, rebellion, rebellion. Wonderful! This is just, oh, we've got a population surplus at Italia though, so it's not all over. Okay, let's just quickly deal with these rebellions here then, before we do anything else. Victory for Rome. God, they've got pretty decent units, but it's all in my favour, so we can all resolve this one. We'll go for a protective stance. Just making sure that they're taken down, but we don't lose too many of our own men. We'll go across the road to finish him off now. Do the job and finish off with an aggressive stance now. Anyone who does retreat and escape, they need to send word never to rise up again. So they've been completely obliterated. We'll bring these, these guys back to Sabrata now. Minus two, so hopefully that will start to settle down. Taxes, crackdown, present. Da, 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 da. It's a disease. You see, disease, disease, disease. It's uh, it's a big issue. So again, waterworks. There, build it. Another rebellion here. Come across to deal with them. African rebels. They fleed. I think they're out of range now. Oh, they're not. I think they're in range still. Oh, they are. Wonderful. Let's finish them off. So, again, we'll auto resolve this one as we can. We'll go for an aggressive stand straight away with these. Try and finish them now. We have done. Brilliant. 
Another rebellion is crushed. Another decisive victory. Ready for orders. Force marching back into the uh, region. So they are there. Um, who's increased in rank? Is it the general? It has. So if we can then get them to increase their authority, that's now gone up, probably quarter to plus one. But we can then give them another two. Morale for commander unit or cunning should give us. Oh, yeah, definitely. Gives a minus upkeep cost and everything, so we'll go for that. Zero. Neutralised it. Good. Hopefully that's going to deal with that for a bit then. Here, another general's being able to increase his skills. So we'll give him the authority increase there. And we shall... Mm -hmm. mm. Army recruitment capacity up. Yeah, we'll do that. Good, 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 good. So it's minus two now there. Fine. So where the where were the rebellions rising up from then? It's only one in Africa. So that's the only one that's actually risen up this appetite this turn. Okay, we've actually done our our technology. So let's have a look here and see what we can do. Integrity, hmm, not really interested with that at the moment. Yeah, military recruitment cost. I need things that could get growth, well that would help. Well some commercial work. I think we'll go for that one now. Short term. This area Narbo, they can build another field here. Because I know Narbo is very rich in fertility. Where is it now? Narbo, rich for fertile lands there, so they will give us a nice boost in uh, food. These buggers are now raiding us, the Visigoths. Damn you. So we need to make sure you see this again, suffering attrition. These chaps, the Alamans, what's their position with me? Hostile, not looking good. But it is improving, so hopefully that's not a statement of intent to try and attack me. That's what could be in trouble. What's the Franks' attitude towards them? Because obviously I know we're quite pally with the Franks, aren't we? I welcome you, Not a war with them. I listen because your no. people are known to have honour. Can't ask them to start a war, can we? No. Damn. Okay, fair enough. Did the Adanians? They did. They did. They did, they did land. Over here, look at the bloody attrition we're suffering here as well. Get to it, men. Ready for orders. God almighty. Give me food. Can we get some... What's this fertility like in, in Britannia, actually? It's okay, it's three. Hmm. Disease isn't good here either. Minus one. We'll go for fountain there, then give us sanitation across all provinces again. That will hopefully deal with that. Because it's minus eight at the moment, which isn't either very good either. Have you got, have you got room for an increase in our... Oh, sorry, money. We can't now. We can, we can, we can, we can actually. We have got money for this. Um, probably code will be minus one from it. Well, we can afford that. And sanitation actually is quite good, so we can afford the decrease on that as well. So it gives the most food. Food, th th 40 plus 30 from the additional. Well, no. We'll go for that one because it gives us a base food of 40 and 30 per level. Which I think would outweigh that one, which gives 54 per level or 18 per level. Ooh, it's a difficult one, this is, you know. 40, 20, so 20 extra there. 30 plus 60 there, so that's what? Um, 100. Because of the, forget the base level is 3, so 3 
times 10 is 30, plus the additional food is 30, that's 60, plus the food from the actual husbandry is 40, that's 100 there, so 20, that's 74, oh actually no, that would be the better one, that would give us plus 100, so we'll go for that one, wheat fields then, fine, that's sort of that issue out then, so that's two turns for that, okay guys, let's... I think we'll end a turn once again. How's the loyalty actually? It's okay. No, no, this chap isn't good. Right. Now your loyalty, your, sorry, your personal influence isn't very good. Yours is terrible. Yours is 23. But yours is okay. But then if we try to secure the loyalty of you, or you, that will decrease our personal influence down, which is not what we want to have. Where are you stationed? You're a governor... That's by Attica. Oh, God. Three. Three. See, the Civil Wars cause this, you see. Damn. Damn. What's... We've got nine armies. Right, okay, fine. Can we raise the force here? It's not going to cost anything. We can't. No, six. Is it going to cost? No. Yes, it will cost us for free. It will be free if we let, made him a general, and not obviously. We're not going to do him as a, an admiral. Reinstate the Eighth Legion. Recruit him. Right. Next turn, we shall take them down. The separatists there. Fine. Oh. On a sign scale for these guys. Minus 10, so yes, imperative we get again an increase for our generals or, or our governor's authority here. Increase the authority to plus 2. Public order again. Minus 7, okay. This is better than the minus 10. Okay, so let's see again what happens. The Utes are coming across, they've landed at, uh, f I think, the coastline of the Franks, but I don't know. Sassanids are still picking away at the Eastern Roman Empire as well there. On the eastern borders. Have they got the have they got the firepower, they got the manpower, they got the money to do something about that. Danian's lurching ever closer. I'm gonna try and my try and make my stand at Corinium as opposed to Londinium because we lose Corinium, that's another one off the uh, list of settlements we've got there which will be a kick in the teeth financially. Let's try and hold them at Quirinium. Let's, let's, let's not try and fall back to Londinium. Let's be brave and hold at the unwalled sediment if we can. But attacking us again. This time, surely the game is over. Aggressive stance and down you go. In the balls, in the neck. The separatists have been fi finished off this time. Gone. Decisive victory. Wonderful. Oh, these guys are having a little go at Tingis, are they? We can already resolve this one. Lost 381 to uh, once. No, sorry, we lost 162 to their 381. Almost these guys are looking looking to attack us, I think, as well. So Damati has had a rebellion. Magna Gratia, Molitania, Lusitania. Oh my god. Faction destroyed Roman. Separatists, good. Civil war has been crushed. Attrition, attrition. Well, that's fine because attrition has now been dealt with for a little bit because we've got 302. Mission demand. Our recruitment cost of mercenaries increased for three turns. Great, wonderful. Whoopie doo. How can I serve the people of Rome? Okay. Now we're going to have to unfortunately disband him for the moment because. We need to have him station himself over there to deal with that rebellion at the moment. So, unfortunately, to span you there. What's the situation at Palmer now? Minus 10. <laughs> and what is it because of that? Characters, disease, devastation. Pair that, deal with that issue. Taxes, building.
I've recorded two sanitation to all regions there. But, you know, we can afford, you know, the minus 50 maintenance, maintenance cost is something that's easily affordable considering the benefits it gives us. However, sanitation now is clear here. That's fine. It's not a problem. We've got to get something that gives us a quick boost to public order. Latin Baptistry. Guardhouse. Food consumption minus 10. But public order plus 3. Okay, we'll go for that. We'll go for that. So, Latica has had a change from... Greek Christian to where uh, the one of assassin is it look like looks like it does okay 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 so I can see where the rebellions are coming up from where they are f where they where they are rising up springing up from so rebellion here at Dalmatia Okie dokie. Well, we can straight straight away hit them there with this army from Savia. 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 Would that I were as swift as the angels. So that province is doing okay now, Panier. Panier. It's now plus seven. It's now base level of nine. So that's looking okay for the moment. So we can actually. Uh, God, that's a bit bad at state, isn't it? Ruined town. Mm. Repair cost two and a half, two thousand four hundred. We'll have to deal with that soon. Um, bring these back to Siskia. What I'm going to do is force march them across. Put them there. Bring these across to attack them because obviously they're in range. They won't be able to retreat now. They use all their movement points off. Now we can auto resolve it. Night attack it. Whoa, whoa! Oh, because of course, yeah. It's silly me. Night attack, we can't get the reinforcements in. So, aggressive stance again. Decisive victory that time. Make haste, men. Good. At your command. Bring them back. Ready for battle. Oh, they've been neutralised. They can't. Ret yeah, they can't go back now but plus seven actually that's good why don't you crack down why don't you presence dealing with that situation but again there is disease here there's disease in a number of regions here actually two of the regions bath house bath of balanay balnay consumption of food 30 but sanitation across all regions and plus five Okay. Public order plus three is worth it. Into two and a half thousand gold is worth it. Thinking about it, it's worth it. Okay, so we got rid of that rebellion. One down. Magna Gratia. These guys here. You wouldn't have thought it, would you? In the home of the Italian. Empire, or oh, the once great land of the early Caesars, is now suffering from rebellion as, rebellion as well. Okay, I'm trying to think what we could do there. We can't really do anything. We have to bring this army down now, really. They're not really in range. Hopefully, I'll try and attack us, and then we could probably bring them down that way. I may we'll deal with them in a bit. Here. Now we dealt with them, didn't we? Oh, they're over there, not being dealt with. God, these guys annoy me. These really are bloody pain in the arse, the Marians. Marians. Were well, they not take an agreement? The door is open to you, but if you wish to go beyond the courtyard within. I'm offering the money to get rid of you. Oh, you fools. Are they at war with anyone? God, I do need to get rid of them very soon. I'll try and raise a force if I can at some point, but they're going to attack me again. 
I don't know if I can defend Tingis this time because the, the Gaussian is, 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 is suffering. It really is suffering this time. And Tingis, where is it? Not great. It is going back up, but I don't think we can repel the forces. I'll just see. We've, we've performed miracles before. We'll try again. Where's the last rebellion? Lusitania. Okay, we'll, we'll deal with that next turn as well because we'll get that general we had at Palma and bring it across to here. It's a mobile general which is going to have to deal with all our issues in terms of public order. Let's hope the food holds out for the winter, that's the thing. That is the thing. Okay, what we've got in terms of mercenaries, nothing. No doubt they'll attack us next turn at Corinium. But uh, we've got a Gaussian force which isn't too bad. We'll try and hold out there if we can. Building up this uh, food issue now. That's a thing. Okay, that's. Nothing else we can really do is it for the end turn phase. No, we'll end it. One we'll turn here. One we'll turn here. Do one more turn. Oh, Franks, deal with the Utes, please. Your generals are true soldiers of the good lord. Where are the Huns? Where we are they? I ask you today to send them against these wicked people. Mm, too close. I can't really afford it. Just give me the money instead. <laughs> That's probably too much to ask, wasn't it? I'll try and take some money off them again, because a couple of people have suggested that. You know, look to take some money off the Eastern Roman Empire as a gift. We live for battle. Oh, we dream of it. I we knew it! Soddy knew it. Rules. And you look plump. They've all come to my aid, though, my allies. Damn it! Let's try and get the Franks involved with that one. Another enemy to the list of ever growing enemies. Olivia. Olivia doing okay now. Bagia. Right. Enemy military investment. Illegitimate birth disease spreads. Mission issued. Military training. Razor fleet. Oh, flipping heck. How can I serve the people of Rome? To victory! Oh, we could actually win now if we actually sallied out to them. Right, you know, I may actually auto resolve that next time because I don't think the odds of me winning that would be any better than me auto resolving it. So, and we still we still got plus twenty six food because of that wheat field there which we produced. So that's good. So we're actually not going to lose any attrition during the, the winter period. Excellent. I won't sally out, I'll keep myself nice and tight at Corinium. Right, okay, so that's that chap ready for duty again. Razor Force here. Where are you? Is that chap? Is that guy, isn't it? Yeah. Raise the eighth again. Ready for battle. No, I can't attack him obviously yet, but uh Integrity, yeah, we'll raise that up. Fine, okay, that's that. We'll attack them then next turn. Put them out of force march. Plus five there, public order. Plus five, public order there. Hopefully, uh, thanks for you guys suggesting about the um, disease. I think you're saying that basically it'll just die out in time. I hope that's the case now because sanitation is on the up here. Um, we don't want disease to spread anymore so as I say I hope that's dealt with soon. At your command. No, put him over here, put him over here. We don't want to get him to have disease. So put him over at Savria. 
back over there again. Um, get yourself over to Salona, or Solana, because I think I'll try and get you across the uh, sea here into Italia to try and deal with those rebellion rebels there. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, money's good though, money's very good. Very good indeed. So plus six here now. And sanitation is good. Let's have a quick look. I'm just gonna quickly go through my land if I can. Character building military presence. Okay, well that army's gonna stay there, it's not going anywhere. So that's fine. If it's if it's helping with the public order, then so be it. Make it so. Here. And we've got a rebellion. And we're facing big problems there. Sanitation's okay at the moment. We've got disease here though. So next episode we will deal with that disease there. Sanitation's fine here. And it's minus one though. Food minus three. Are we actually suffering from a food problem here? Maxia. Oh, they are, they are actually. They're not producing their own food. Okay. Um, well, you know, having fields isn't a problem. We'll go for another field there. This is an issue, though. This is a big issue. Put that to a balnay, a balnay, because we've got food, so we've got sanitation and public order problems here. So what could we do to get this right? Leave that at level one, jet, a jetty. Leave that as it is as well. If there's something that's going to give us a quick boost in public order, nothing, nothing will give us it. Oh, well, that will give it plus one, but we don't even need that, do we? I'm going to dis I'm going to actually demolish that and try and get something else there, like a rally field or whatever it is. Not a rally field, because that's what we've got already. The other one, which gives us a bit of public order. Because so that's not helping at the moment. Minus six here. Oh, God, disease again. So another looking at what we can do with this. Sanitation six, but then four across the region, eight to all regions in the province. But that would give us a plus a growth. We don't even need growth, we need the public order on the sanitation. We'll go for three thousand that one then. Okay, we will get this right, guys. We will get this right if it takes us, if it kills us, we will get it right. Well, if no one to kill us, because then we'll be dead, we won't be able to play the campaign, but you know what I mean. We shall get this right eventually. Bit by bit, we'll get the sanitation up. Bit by bit, we'll get the public order up. Okay. Hmm, just looking through them at the moment. Okay, things are, things are okay. Let's have a quick look at the provinces now. Come on, sort, let me sort it out. Up, 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 up. up. So, yeah, there's green hours along a lot of the provinces now. So only a few have got down hours now. So hopefully that will still continue to go in the right direction. A lot of a lot of regions are importing food though, which is the issue. Let me try and deal with that as well. No wonder they call it a legendary campaign. It is just unbelievable. It really is, guys. There you go, chaps. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here for this episode. There's been a few order resolves, but they were okay to do so. Um, you know, if you can order resolve when you can, then so be it. You know, if I have to fight a battle, I will do so. But uh, if I can get away with an auto-resolve, I shall indeed as well. Because there's a lot of management that needs to be done on the campaign map as well as the battlefield. But we've got a battle in anyway, early doors. And uh, hopefully we can start to, again, as I say, st step up and 
move forward in the in the right direction. If you enjoyed the episode, please do drop it a like and I shall speak to you soon. Always drop any comments you want to help me with this campaign as always. You know that means a lot. So yeah, please do uh, continue to do that as well. But until next time, this is Wally Swatter for now saying farewell. <laughs>